I am the great putty man. Mother of XOC. Nobody steps on thermal pads in my town. So the quest to achieve the fastest gaming PC never really ends. And I'm always testing stuff in the background weird products that I come across, just literally anything I can possibly find to just get like one more FPS. Frame chasers. Now the last little discovery that I found was this little gem here, the, the, the putty, the TG, the TGPP10 putty. This stuff is magical. This stuff ended up dropping 20 degrees Celsius on my, um, on my RTX 3000 series cards, all of them. They all dropped 20C, and what ended up happening was I was able to crank my memory slider much further, more FPS, etc, etc. Now, today, we're gonna try and see if using this putty on regular memory sticks, like just your DDR4 sticks that are in your computer, we're gonna see if this drops the temperature on those things. Alright, let's go upstairs. Let's run it before, tear it apart, put some putty on, throw it back together, see what the temperature difference is. On to the Batmobile. Okay, I've been stress testing the memory for 10 minutes here. I know that doesn't seem very long, but the temperature literally hasn't moved in the last five minutes. So dim temps are looking around 45 and a half on both sticks. And we are at, where are we here? 1.6 volts DRAM, 4600 C17. So, let's go putty it up. Okay, so, I made sure to put a really thin layer over all the chips. And I even got some, like, inside in between them as well as to maybe pull even more heat out. We'll see. The putty's gonna alter my DNA. I'm actually gonna take it one step further and use putty on the cold plate. That's uh, an expensive amount of putty there. Okay, we're at 17 minutes here. Uh, I left it on a bit longer because the water was like obviously cold, right? Um, and it looks exactly the same. Maybe half a de oh, oops, maybe like half a degree less, but yeah. Otherwise, I don't think the actual thermal transfer of the pad was the lowest hanging fruit here. So uh, I guess um, experiment failed. Well, that was pretty anti 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 anticlimactic. <laughs> it was pretty anti oh Christ anticlimactic. Um, didn't really do anything on the memory chips, so I'm assuming either the lowest hanging fruit on those chips is not the actual heat transfer out of them, maybe it's the transfer to the water, I don't who knows, right, but, or maybe it's just the straight up heat output of them, right? The, G, the G6X modules pump out way more heat, so maybe it just transfers the heat better out of them. In terms of the putty... Great product for graphics card memory chips, not so much on regular DRAM chips. Um, I will try and use this stuff for other things, but what we actually can glean from this is this stuff, even though it's rated at 10 milliwatts per meter Kelvin, I'm not sure if that's the right metric, even though it's rated at 10, it works just as well as my 13... Fuji poly pads because we use this stuff in between the uh, cold plate and the RAM sticks, right? And there was no temperature difference. So this might have some use cases maybe on like some motherboard VRMs or something like that. Like, uh, I'll do some testing with this stuff in the future to find out. But um, yeah, so for now, this is the GOAT for G6X. As of right now, haven't found another use for it, but that's about it. Anyway, guys, if you like the content and you want more secrets, 
Hit that subscribe button. Do all that YouTube SEO stuff. Like, share, etc., etc., etc. I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you later.